you guys welcome back to the channel we're in my coffee stand right now my camera's on one percent i wasn't planning on recording but we got new countertops in today and i want to show you guys everything we're opening up in a few days so i am just getting some things moved in here since this countertop is in i want to make sure everything fits where it needs to so i'm actually going to switch my phone because i'm on one percent so let's switch to the phone where we left off before is this countertop was put in the coffee stand. This is a laminate countertop. And up front, I decided to do a granite countertop, but it took a lot longer to make that versus like installing this. So they just installed the granite countertop today. And I am so excited because it looks so good. But as you guys can see, we have cutouts for, it's called a knot box. So a knot box goes right here. This is where water comes up and it cleans our glasses a hole for the machine and then another knot box goes over there. So I just wanted to get everything on the counter along with our grinders to make sure everything fits perfectly. And also this fridge is being centered so that will be scooted over just a little bit. Tomorrow they're gonna come in and um, do all the plumbing. So all the sinks will be hooked up, the ice machine will be hooked up. Those sinks are what I'm talking about. And then also we're gonna have our new machine here which I paid a lot of money for, and I cannot wait to see you guys. I don't know if I showed you guys the old machine, but it was very old and needed to be replaced. I'm gonna show you guys that in this video too, because I'll be seeing it tomorrow for the very first time. Without further ado, let's get some stuff moved in here. A couple different things, you guys, is there is not a lot of counter space. So the way this was set up before was there was only, so I have two grinders now, one and two. Before there was only one, but now because we have two grinders, we needed two holes and the new machine is 40 inches long with, it leaves us like maybe three inches on that side and like two inches on that side. So there's really not a lot of room to work with but as you can see, this is supposed to be slanted like kitty corner. And the only option is to just like have it straight, which kind of sucks. But I feel like us girls can figure that out along with these, which is really disappointing, is they are supposed to sit this way. But obviously they don't fit. Um, which I'm gonna go back and look at the contractor and I's messages to see if I double checked that. But they can work this way, but the right way is just supposed to be like that. So that really, really, that's like the worst part. That sucks. Other than that, the countertop looks amazing. I know that once we get the machine in here and we get all the products back in here, we can really tell how we're gonna maneuver everything. Also, we have two huge coffee tampers that are supposed to go next to the grinders, but honestly, I think I'm gonna have to downsize and get new ones because I don't think it's gonna fit at all. Put the cash register where it's supposed to go. Um, it used to be right where this ice, ma ice machine was on the other side, but now it's over here, which is kind of nice. I don't, I don't mind it. That's it for now. I will update you guys tomorrow. We're gonna head to the stand when they're done with all the plumbing and I can show you guys a new machine that I got. Anyways, you guys, I'm, I gotta get to the gym and I'm gonna go home and eat tacos tonight and I will see you guys in the morning. Hi, you guys, it's the next day and I have some exciting news. We got the, I, we got the ice machine up and running and I already saw the new espresso machine because I had to be here at the coffee stand a few hours ago to meet the installer and so I want to show you guys what everything looks like. It's amazing. The new espresso machine is beautiful. We have this truck full and my sister Jamie's car full of some coffee supplies so we're gonna unload everything and then um, I'll give you guys kind of a little tour of everything. So I'm gonna unload and then let's have a look. Got Jamie here as a worker. Devin's in there working and we mostly got all, all the flavors out. I didn't tell you guys this, but I have been wanting to... <laughs> it's a pretty badass car. <laughs> Ever since I opened this place, I've wanted to repaint this place. Um, eventually, I'll redo the whole outside, but right now, I don't have the time for that. So, we are going to be painting the whole stand this coming week. 
So my painter told me to go to a paint shop and pick out some paint and right now they fixed up the outside a little bit. This used to be just like tin or tin or something like that. So they put this up, fixed the seals and obviously we're gonna paint it, the whole stand. So roof is going black. The fake brick, by the way guys, this is not real brick. Really? Yeah, it's fake brick. That's gonna stay black, so roof is going black. Then this whole centerpiece and over here needs to be a different color. So that's what we're gonna test out right now. It's like a brown gray, oh. kind of like the stuff we have on the inside. Yep, that's the one. <laughs> Doesn't it look nice? And then the trim will be black though too. Okay. So. Should I just paint the, whole, should I paint the whole thing before we open? <laughs> yeah. So we're opening on Monday, you guys, and they can't paint this until next week. So we're gonna be open with this looking like this, but there's not much I can do unless I just paint this really quick myself. <laughs> Lots of boxes of only flavor right now. New machine is absolutely stunning. But this is a very popular machine in all the coffee stands. This is my freaking baby. And the colors and the LED lights and our nugget ice machine that I've been talking about, you guys. Let me show you what the ice looks like. Wow. That's the best ice in the market that you can get. So this is all the stuff that was in the truck. And by the way, you guys, there's a lot there, there is a lot more that needs to come tomorrow, but we're gonna put these on the shelves because we got shelving up. Kind of organize it, and then tomorrow is gonna be a big day. We're just gonna literally put everything in here. So Jamie and I need to get started because it's getting dark. on the shelves which you guys there is a lot Jamie good job Gracias. what do you guys think should we paint this black under here and then this would go black too I don't know I, I kind of think it needs to at some point back room is also empty that's being set up but you guys I'm gonna pick this up bright and early Jamie and I are gonna load up Devin's trailer head here and get everything done because I have burrito orders coming in milk orders Literally all the food is coming tomorrow, so we gotta get her done. The next morning. We have Jamie and Sydney helping me in the back. We just put the fridge in. Lots, 12, 16. They're organizing the cups and the lids. There's not much to record just because we are organizing everything, but we are getting super close to being one step closer to opening. Also, we don't have AC in here right now and it's like 90 degrees out. I'm gonna go get some shit done and then I'll update you guys when we've got somewhere. One hour later. Holy crap, you guys. We just got done with everything that we could get done right now. We ran into a few different issues, by the way. I, like I said, there's no AC in here, so we are both dying, but we got all of the flavors up. We had to finish that because we were missing a few, so all the flavors are up. Machine is completely put together with, with the, all the cups and the lids and the right glasses. Um, everything is set up. Fridge, ice machine. This is pretty crowded right now. We will be fixing that a little bit. We're gonna declutter that. And then we also have to declutter this area too, but like our panini press is staying right here, so that's in the right place. So before this was on this side, but they put in a thicker trim along like the full perimeter of the bottom. So this rack did not fit in there anymore. 
So we had to switch some things around. By the way, a lot of people ask if there's a bathroom in here, and yes, there is a bathroom, it's right in here. One issue that we ran into is we bought this new fridge before the old setup. We had that stainless steel table that had a storage location under it, and because we don't have that anymore, all of this stuff, which we have on a platform right here, so it's not touching the ground, all of this stuff, it's not okay over here. Like, this is, this needs to be fixed. So I talked to Devin, and I think he's gonna build me some shelves, some shelving right in here. If I get two shelves, like one and two, then that takes care of a lot of the clutter in here along with a lot of this stuff back here. We got a lot done today. Shout out to Jamie and Sydney, my other employee who helped me today. We also got here at like 10 a.m. And it is now 7 p.m. So we've been here all day. I think I'm gonna go home and I might have Devin take me out for a Moscow Mule because that's kind of what I feel like I need. And maybe some dinner and then yeah, it's, it's just been a long day. But anyways, you guys, I will pick this vlog back up on Sunday and I'll show you all the new improvements and everything that, you know, the whole setup. So I'll see you guys on Sunday. It's the next day and Devin is building us a shelf like I talked to you guys about. Um, so there's gonna be a bottom shelf and a top shelf. So we're gonna have a lot of extra space. Devin's just an all around handy man. I'm really good at my wood. <laughs> that was fucking funny. Alright, let's see if things going in beef mode. Oh, shoot. He did it. The myth. <laughs> what, the this? man, the myth, the legend. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. <laughs> so, the myth. <laughs> the myth right there. Devin just got done building that, and you guys, it's everything I've ever wanted because now we have space to store everything. So, as you guys can see, it's a mess in here right now. So, we're going to clean this and start putting stuff up on that shelf. Okay, I actually look crusty as hell right now, you guys. But we finally got everything in its place. Devin did such a good job on the shelf, like I said before. It's so good. Um, let me show you guys. First of all, when we walk in, I still might replace this shelf. I really don't like this rack, but we have everything. All the back stock, well, some of the back stock right here. And then behind me, we have all of the cups and lids and whatnot. My pink toolbox, the fridge. Okay, this angle looks kind of weird, but it works, I guess. And then here is a new fridge. We have it completely full. Milk, orange juice, all of our food, Red Bull. Like, we're completely stocked up. All the goods, the ice machine, and you guys, the amazing shelf that Devin built. Because all of that stuff, it's completely full. We had no idea where it was going to go. So, thank goodness he spent the whole day here trying to get that done for me. So, the shelving. We got my Lotus drink. The register look at these custom these are on these are from amazon just letting you know they have like custom clipboards that you can do and then my beautiful machine just waiting for us to use in the morning which i'm so excited to do and all the flavors like we are good to go honestly i cannot even explain to you guys how <sighs> relieved i am like when all of that happened with the flood in here and just dealing with insurance and being told that I have to be shut down for two months, it was really stressful. Um, and I apologize, like I said in the last video, I have been so distant from social media and I, I told you guys why, but another big reason is my whole focus has been my coffee stand too. So I'm excited to get this place up and running again and to dial it, I mean, dial it all in, and then then we can move on to another project and I can get back to social media. And yeah, I am so thankful for you guys for supporting me and watching this whole process. And now my stand looks even better than it did before and I couldn't be more grateful for that. So I'm opening up in the morning. Tomorrow is Monday, the 22nd. 
Jamie and I are going to be here at 5 a.m. And I can't wait to make coffee for you guys and just to be open again. It's going to be so nice. The next big thing though is painting the outside of the building. I hope he does. I hope my painter is going to do it this week. So I'll keep you guys posted with that. But I'm going to end this video here. It's almost 10 o'clock at night. So I need to get going home. I appreciate you guys. Remember hit the like button, the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.